Hello everybody, we're out here in New York City at Jacqueline Hyde, the Conjuring prequel to Annabelle, where John Gordon gets his wife a Vince's doll for his unborn child, which becomes a horrifying experience. Join me for the social media event for the launch October 3rd for Annabelle. El Paso was hit with the worst storm in recent history. So a lot of very strange occurrences that one way or another maybe they're explained. But, uh, but the other thing is that really this is the true life story of a doll that's been possessed. Blessings with everybody. And I'm going to use my culture to give you the, the energy. So in the name of the Father, the, Holy, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I'm going to give you blessed friends. There we go. A little rum. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hi, my name is uh, Tony Mendel, and uh, I uh, am an actor in uh, Annabelle. And uh, it is a pleasure to be in New York. I grew up a little bit north from here in Connecticut. And uh, so it's a little bit of a homecoming for me. Uh, I want to. Uh, invite you all to see Annabelle, a terrifyingly entertaining film that uh, operates on many levels. On one hand, like I said, it's a sort of entertainment, but on the other hand, it's a great sort of, it, it's a chapter in the ongoing battle between good and evil. It's a sort of wonderful film because if you know anything about the beliefs of demons, they operate essentially on, on, on three levels. The first level is the kind of infestation, the arrival for whatever reason. The second level is the oppression, which is basically things begin moving and all hell breaks loose in your house and you can't explain it. The third one, and this is where all three are sort of exploring Annabelle, is the attack. The actual attempt at a kind of possession. Again, I play Father Perez. Uh, for me, it was a wonderful way to get back and sort of uh, uh, open my mind and reintroduce to my, myself to other beliefs and other ways of thinking. It's great as an actor because we're always asked to put on a hat. Some people here know me from Stargate. Other people know me from the man who killed Dexter's mother. <laughs> who made him what he is. And everyone's so happy about that. This is the amazing thing. I thought I'd get I thought I'd get some shit from that shit, but everyone seems to love that. Uh, also from, uh, you know, the bro or the, you know, Legend of Sorrow, the Mask of Sorrow. So, you know, my point is, as an actor, you're asked to be a blank page. Because this week I'm playing a priest. The next week I could be playing an atheist. But it was really engaging to play this priest. Because it gave me the chance to read a book about the Warrens, who are essentially a pair of, uh, Paranormal investigators who have worked for the church and many other groups. And it's a fascinating story. To deny evil is to empower it. And that's all I needed. I was uh, off and running and very, <laughs> very happy for a key into the world. But they also believe that faith can overcome and conquer that. So do you come out and check the movie. Ladies and gentlemen. Annabelle. Cool. Shake and look at this camera. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Annabelle. The prequel to Conjuring, Annabelle, October 3rd. Tell us a little bit, just real quick, three words. Three words. That's all we got. Terrifying and entertaining. There we go. You have it right there, October 3rd in theaters. I'm your host, Boy Boy, and you're watching BoyBoyTV.com. You glad to take them now? Cool. Isaac? Yeah. Good.